Got an iNuke or a similar amp that only has speak on output connectors and kind of wondering how on earth you're supposed to wire these things up for bridge mode or two channel or whatever. Well, hopefully this video can help you out. Okay, here we have the back panel of the iNuke 3000. Uh, this is the non-DSP version, so it may look a little different if that's the version you have. Uh, we've got a couple of speak on inputs. Um, a brand new two conductor speak on and a four conductor speak on and we also have some four conductor wire here that we're going to talk about as well and uh, some tools to do the job we got a uh, Phillips screwdriver and a razor blade because I can't find my knife and some other smaller screwdrivers here we have a cable this is a functioning two conductor speak on to banana cable and I'm just going to show you if you back this out, this here uh, grabs the wire and holds it into place. And then you can see, hopefully it's in focus there, um, the two conductors go into the back of the speak on as such. <clears throat> so let's undo that for now. There you have it. So with a, with a two conductor speak on, um, you can really only wire, well, just one channel, okay? So that's, you can't see it on here, but when you have this in person, right inside there, you can very faintly see a one plus and a one minus. This is the same as saying positive and negative or red and black, okay? Um, so, uh, I, you know, you simply slide the, the uh, bare copper into there and then just tighten these down. That's the simple way of doing speak on. Most people don't have a problem with that. Okay, and there we go. We're, you know, as soon as I slide this on and tighten this up, we're ready to go. We can plug this into channel A or channel B and the subwoofers are ready to rock. What really confuses people most of the time is how to bridge uh, the iNuke. Take a look at this. The back of the panel tells you, and you can also find this in the manual. Uh, for bridge mode, you want to be one plus to two plus okay so for this let's look at this one right here this is a four conductor speak on um, the model here is speak on nl4 fx but okay this is the one to do the job so we open it like this and what's different about these is we instead of two inputs we have four okay so if you, again, if you have this in hand, you can't see it on the camera, there's no way. Um, if you have this in hand, we have one plus, one minus, okay, and even I have to look, uh, two plus, two minus, okay. So this, again, this is like saying channel one, positive, negative, channel two, positive, negative, because you can also buy wire with these. But right now we're going to look at bridging. So if we're going to bridge, again, the back of the amp says bridge is from 1 plus to 2 plus, And that's positive to negative. So we're looking at these inputs, 1 plus to 2 plus. If we take our um, wire again, we're going to slip the white being positive and black being negative into those inputs. Okay. Again, that's 1 plus, 2 plus. Tighten those down. Slide this into place. And then screw and lock this down. Now this cable, um, so now this is ready to play in bridge mode on the iNuke. So we just slip it in like that, it's ready to go. You do have to um, tell the amplifier to operate in bridge mode right here. Okay, so you got to click that over. Now it's expecting to output um, on the one plus, two plus. We can now operate both channels, A and B, through this one wire only. Uh, the way we do this is to use this four conductor wire. This wire will not apply. So let's do that next. So the way 
I'm going to do this. Um, these are this particular wire is colored with uh, white, black, yellow, and orange. I'm going to call white and black channel one or A in this case with the iNuke, and yellow and orange are going to be channel two or B. Okay, so um, and we're going to say white is positive and yellow is positive. So when we try to reference this on the Speakon, we're talking about one plus, one minus, and two plus, two minus. And really, if you look on the on the inside of the Speakon here, you just line it up exactly that way. So we get this. Get those in there nice and secure. Lock them down. Okay. Sorry if it's hard to see what I'm doing. My hands are probably blocking it. Try to get all that copper buried in there so we don't get any shorts inside. Okay, and rookie mistake I didn't put on the, um, again, whatever you call this. That's okay. I'm just going to go from the other end real quick here. It's unreal how often that happens where you um, wire everything up and you've forgotten this thing. Okay, everything lines up. And that is cinched down in there and isn't coming loose. And now we have both channels. We plug them into channel A here. Both channels are coming out the other end of this wire. So we can strip this back and we could use one of these on the back of our speaker the exact same way we do on the iNuke and you could have channel 1 and 2 going to your speaker or you could have channel 1 going to one sub and channel 2 going to the other sub however you like to wire it. So just to cover our options one more time if we're looking to run both channels separately we can use two speakons like this these are two conductor speakons uh, let me see if it NL2FX. Hope you can see that. And we can put the amp into mono or stereo mode and um, just plug these in simply like so. Oops, sorry about the camera. And you're ready to rock two subs, two speakers, whatever you need. If you wanted to use bridge mode, you need an NL4FX. You wire it with the 1 plus, 2 plus for bridge mode. Put the amplifier into bridge mode and plug it into channel A. And if you wanted to run two channels in one, one wire, you again, you need the NL4FX and you need to put the amp into stereo or mono mode and wire this with a four conductor wire at 1 plus, 1 minus for channel for A, 2 plus, 2 minus for channel B, and again, just plug it in like that. Hope this helps.